hello and welcome to my channel this is chef sahar morkos i'm palestinian by origin from the holy land and i live here in the uk i studied catering at blackpool and fire college and i thoroughly enjoyed it um, today i will be sharing with you an egyptian recipe for baking uh, fish it's an amazing recipe and i i do think that the egyptians has got a really talent an amazing talent for cooking fish um, if you like my recipe would you please kindly click the like and subscribe to my channel thank you first we will start with the spices that we need to marinate the, the fish and then we need uh, to prepare as well the vegetables to put as a topping on our baked fish now the spices we are using here is a teaspoon of ground uh, coriander teaspoon of cumin uh, salt black pepper paprika whether sweet or spicy it's up to you and uh, that's it so and we add to that a bit of lemon we have the salt as well for sure a bit of lemon and olive oil we mix it really well and then we rub it on our fish the fish just to let you know you have to ask the um the fishmonger uh, to do like you know to open it from the back open it flat and uh, I recommend using sea bass, mainly sea bass for this or a grey mullet, but sea bass tastes much better in this recipe. Now this fish is going to be uh, boned and if you bake it on, on your uh, tray, in your oven tray, it might stick and then you won't enjoy eating your fish. So to avoid this misery, we can use like a, a, an extra strong or thick uh, kitchen foil and um, add a bit of oil to that, brush it really well and then put the fish inside. And as you see, I'm trying here to wrap it around it. Um, keep for sure the top, you know, the top of the fish um uncovered however just surround it with um with with a with a foil uh, this somehow will protect our fish from burning and as well from sticking to the uh, tray so this is the the spices i prepared earlier i'm gonna rub all the fish and then uh, i'm putting that in the fridge just to let you know you need to avoid cross contamination each time you deal with mainly fish and chicken please please make sure you wash your hands properly wash all the utensils you are using as well so that you don't cross uh, contaminate the rest of the stuff you are doing now we will prepare the vegetables that we're going to put as a topping on our fish here i have um, a medium size of um, finely diced onion fresh garlic and the same spices i used for uh, rubbing the the fish which is ground coriander don't overuse spices it, it try to be mild because you want to taste that the fish not the spices so a teaspoon will be more than enough teaspoon of ground coriander a teaspoon of um, cumin a teaspoon of black pepper a teaspoon of um, paprika and salt and um, you need to add the rest of the vegetables the vegetables we are using here is uh, finely diced tomatoes fresh tomatoes you can't use ten; it will be too watery so because fish doesn't want a lot of water and um so don't add any any water uh, here um you know like uh, a tomato with juice use just fresh ones and i have here onion we say it um three colors pepper and i'm adding to that a tea a tablespoon of um tomato paste and um uh, lemon a whole lemon squeezed and half a cup of uh, water boiled water let it just boil for a couple of minutes and some some leaves as well you can here I, I like adding parsley to that you can add a bit of dill as well I added a bit of dill let it boil uh, for one minute and then simmer for a few minutes so that you all your vegetables will be uh, tender and then you will put that on your fish just to let you know i forgot as well to tell you that you need a bit of garlic powder to the spices that we use to rub our um, fish with don't use fresh garlic because um it it makes the, the fish dry okay so if you if you put a fresh garlic and then put it in the freezer and the fridge for like a, a while it uh, it makes it dry when you cook it 
So now we're putting our vegetables on top, cover it, and then we're gonna garnish that with some slices of lemon. It's not only actually garnishing, it gives a nice taste. The moment you start spreading your vegetables on top of your fish, you should heat the oven at temperature of 200. Fish usually doesn't take a long time. Here as well, I garnished that with a bit of chili, uh, mild chili, and it, it cooked really nice. You should serve it with some fish, uh, rice fish, tabbouleh. I will have a link for that on my channel. And a tahini a salad as well called ba'dunsiyi. Ba'donis is a word, an Arabic word that means parsley, where we mix our tahini dressing with parsley. It's really tasty with fish. I will have the link as well in my channel. Thank you.